Listen, this someone just said no elo. This is as close to no elo as it gets in low elo legends. They're playing right now. Let's do this. All right. So I think everything's set for me with capture age. We should be in the game. Um no one's moving yet. Okay. Um, welcome, ladies and gents. Sorry that some of the names might be cut off here. This is Low Elo Legends, and this is, as I just stated here on the stream, possibly as close as it gets to No Elo Legends out there. Uh, we have Alexandra here, and Alexandra Leal has played about 40 or 50 games, has 252 Elo. Love the videos went from 400 to 700 with your advice. For nice. Sure. All right, all right. People improving. That's good to see. And then over here, we've got 340 ELO from At Atavanio Augusto. And that house is very close. Actually, he forgot to make a house. <laughs> okay. Yes, this is what we do low ELO for. This is a completely different world, all right? If you have the LEL emote, use the LEL emote. This is a completely different world. Um... 252 ELO is definitely near the bottom of the barrel. Now, it's important to remind people because some people just lose perspective in life. The big goal here is to make sure that we, we get into the mind of the player, right? These guys probably aren't going to have hotkeys for a lot of the things they do, which is something that we become used to when we're watching and playing the game. Um, they, probably, they probably don't have build orders. They probably... They might not even watch YouTube and Twitch, right? So they might not even have an idea of how you're supposed to play. Uh, so this is a completely different world for them. And I'm just excited to see what happens here. Um, you know, Italians versus the Goths. Fairly even Civ matchup, actually. I think at low elo, I might prefer to have Goths. Okay, you can see that for now, Ataviano. Uh, how do I say this? Uh, Ataviano? We'll say Otto. Otto has all the sheep or pigs underneath the TC. And uh, this villager is just going to happily chop some trees for now. Yeah, auto works. Oh boy, look at the stragglers. Now, I imagine that since this is low elo, they probably do not have small trees. So I almost, I feel comfortable switching it over to the big trees. And it makes quite a difference when you chop a tree, man. Suddenly you can see so much more on your map. And people have told me in the YouTube comments that the big reason that they like to chop the straggler trees is just because it doesn't look good when they're there. Those trees are very big. And the map is Gold Rush, where there's a lot of, well, I guess not wolves, but snow leopards in the middle. Actually, while we're here, let's also enhance the graphics. Yeah, look at those snow leopards. I don't know why snow leopards are on this map. That doesn't make any sense. It's very, very hot out there. There's a lot of sun. Hi, T90. Always wow. to watch your streams. I mean, I am pleasantly impressed with how they're playing so far. The fact that we actually have good lumber camps, the fact they're making lumber camps at all right now, is pretty impressive. For 340 ELO versus 250 ELO, I was not expecting this. I can uh, see the scout for red went all the way to the corner. Did he just click it there? What's the deal here? Let me see. Okay, so that's how red scouts. Red just clicks to the corner then. I see. Or wait, is red going to click it? back to the other side is he just gonna like mow the lawn here <laughs> i don't know how many of you people know what i'm trying to say here okay interesting scouting technique it definitely i mean it, it definitely is that lawnmower technique just go back and forth back and forth back and forth all right well i'm wondering if they're gonna bring in boars look we got a mill all right this is solid so they didn't stay on straggler, straggler trees the whole game. It looks like he just kind of took them for a time until he decided where he wanted to place his lumber camp. That's good. Are we going to see them farm in Dark Age? Are they going to take boars? What? We're going to have him even bring in a boar. Well, the boars are over. Oh, wait a second. You can't do... Uh-oh, you can't... Okay, wrong one. Wrong one. He, he got confused for a second. He said, all right, I'm going to lure in the deer. The deer doesn't chase you. The deer doesn't get angry. The deer actually just gets upset. And then dies. So, okay. All right. Red said, okay, that's not a good idea. Let's just... All right, now I'm starting to see the 250 ELO. A little bit of indecisiveness. 
And now we're going to see stone. It is the dark age, but yeah. it's not the stone age. We don't need the stone. All right, so stone. Maybe at this point, Red's thinking, well, I want a castle someday. So stone would be nice. Hmm. So my guess is maybe Red's the type of player to not make any farms until after the berries are gone. Because he's like, why would I ever do... Why would I take multiple sources of food at the same time? We took the pigs. Now we're going to take the, the berries. And man, are these villagers bumping. Look at that. Very inefficient. The lawnmower scout is here. And don't tell me that one arrow is going to eventually kill this scout. There was one villager inside the TC. Okay, and Red just moved a little bit further. <laughs> this, is, this is great, man. And look at the way Blue is walled in his uh, lumberjacks. Look how efficient that is. That is some pro stuff. That's next level stuff. Three on one side, four on the next. I like it. Blue scout still chilling. Neither of them using auto scout. And no! Alexander, what are you doing, man? This is the low elo strategy of my gold at home is safe. So let's take the risky gold yeah. for now. And he must not realize that there's actually animals Except protecting the gold. Exited to stay on hey, yeah. less than three. And the snow leopard gets a kill. Now, hey, this yeah. lady's like, well, I can yeah. handle that. And hey, she gets the hill bonus. Now, he does have loom, thankfully. But yes, the idea, the logic here is kind of backwards from what high-level players would do. The logic here is take all the gold in the middle... That way, if the going gets rough, then I'll have gold at home to work with still. But when I think in reality, what you should do is use the gold at home to make military to protect the gold in the middle. But low elo legends, they're not like what? Military? Offense? What? Oh, offense! We're going to even see a barracks here? I was just about to diss low elo legends and say they wouldn't go offensive. How dare I? What the? Okay, two barracks in the back of Blue's base. Um, this is about to get wild. And he's making militia. He's made a militia per barrack so far. Okay, more houses. Also, that one villager is still inside the TC, so I guess maybe that's the king. Maybe he's role-playing, and he doesn't actually have a king, so it's not regicide. On the way to Feudal Age now is Blue, but he's out of food underneath the TC. Red is um Great time for a new DLC, new campaigns, and oh four looking good like child. Red has the bill lead. Three. Now I'm wondering what he's gonna do now that he's out of berries, right? He still has the boars, he still has the deer around. He doesn't want to eat animals, except for pigs. Interestingly spaced houses over here. Okay, thinking ahead. Is this a house wall? It's a interesting house wall. I suppose it's not a bad idea to house wall the, the whole way to the edge. Also, this wood line is very weird. It's nice for Red to use that, but it's also very odd. Um, hey, uh, all right, so villagers in the middle, barracks in the middle, blue realizing that blue will need gold. And these are some spaced mining camps, man. These are some socially distanced mining camps. That's, that's really far away from the stone and really far away from the gold. Normally, you want to go one tile away. Um, also, it's cute how Blue likes to make the houses so close around the town center and how he mills, uh, he farms around the mill. That's really cute. Jeffrey is still in that town center. Jeffrey, you're accruing so much idle time for your team. Get out of the TC. Do you think in some way, maybe Blue, I subscribe to? maybe Blue thinks that as there's more villagers in the middle on gold, did all the berry villagers go to gold? How are you going to spend this much gold early on, Red? This is crazy. Um, do you think maybe Blue always wants to have a villager in there in case the enemy comes by and he could shoot it? Salve. Hmm, maybe. Clearly, Blue wants to go for militia, but he doesn't really have the res. Does only have one on gold? Presto. Oh! <laughs> I was wondering why he started to build palisades and delete them. Ah, I understand. Okay, he said, ah, oh, I misclicked. I wanted stone walls. Freaking palisades walls. Palisade walls, they're too weak, man. They're way too weak. Let's go for stone. Kate Man says, T90 official, no small treat. No, we need to be inside the mind of the low elo. As we see militia for red. 
I mean, I'm all in on red right now. He might be 100 ELO lower than blue, and that puts him at 250 ELO. But we're seeing double bid axe come in. We're seeing militia with goths. I mean, the eco balance is really poor, let's be honest. 500 gold. What are you going to do with that? Oh, make archers. Okay. Well, you also need wood. But okay, archers isn't bad. And he's getting town watch now, just so we can see stuff. Feels like Blue's approach is full defense. Hmm. Interesting tower spot. I'd say that's a 4 out of 10 tower. It doesn't even fully protect the stone, sadly. <laughs> um, One year. We did it. Thank you for all I do like, I do like the thought process of just get some defense up and focus on economy. Because these guys... I'm not trying to be rude here. They're, they're obviously not the best when it comes to the basics. So protect yourself and practice the basics is completely fine. Now, two barracks? Maybe that's a, bit, a little bit too much protection. I, I don't know Jeremy if that was really ideal. After 14 days. Is Jeffrey still in the... Jeffrey's still quarantining inside the town center. What in the... I forgot about Jeffrey in there. You know, I I had myself fooled here. I thought Red was going to go aggressive, and he I think he's just going to play defensive too. He's just going to camp the gold. Look at this. Scout's waiting over here. Militia here. I don't know who's going to build that tower. Oh, she's going to hey, build that tower. That makes sense. And it looks like Red's gather point on his TC is set here for the farms. Only he doesn't really have a lot of wood income. But don't worry, he has 900 gold. So his thought process of taking all the gold in the middle, that at least is working. But, <laughs> I mean, I don't know what he's going to do with it right now. I am on the edge of my seat, man. All right. Let's double check eco upgrades. Farm, wood, and wheelbarrow upgrade all came in for Octaviano. Definitely gets the house award for me. Uh, and now there's the villager making more stone walls. What's blue scouting look like? Wait, and how did red lose? Oh, yeah, red lost the villager to a wolf. Where's blue scout at? Oh, it's just over here. So this is so low, they don't even know auto scout is a thing. He doesn't even know the gold in the middle is a thing. And I guess you could you could maybe assume that he doesn't have the experience to know what gold rush is. The gold rush? That sounds cool. <laughs> Whoa, double archer range. And a market. Okay, everything is very cluttered here. I don't know where the farms are going to go. Maybe, I guess, around the berries once those two villagers eat all of them. Blue's name definitely seems like an AI name. I agree. I, I think it's pretty funny. I, I I am sure that these guys are playing online, though. They do have profiles. So. All right, maybe Red has realized that he needed a few more villagers on wood. Yeah. Um. Whoa, Fox Ride. Thank you for the 25 gifted. Thank you, thank you. Great. Oh, no, that farm, though. Wait a second. Is his next villager going to show up on the landing pad? This is what Fatslop does. Please, 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 please. Oh, I think that Red wants his villagers to go to a certain spot, and he wants that spot to be visible. Which is why I think that gap is here. Let's see if I'm correct on that. Again, according to the YouTube comments on a lot of Fatslop videos, people said the reason Fatslop did that is because he doesn't check his idols, and he wants to be able to see them. So currently, he's just sending them to an open spot of the grass. Another mill? Talk about efficient farms. What's wrong with this mill? No, seriously, what's wrong with this mill? It's not that far away. Is it too forward for you? Okay. It's too old. Well, it's a berry mill. Duh. It's got berry juice all over the, all over the mill. That's disgusting. All right. Update over here on blue. Blue. Pero? <laughs> okay. All right. Now, I'm really, really excited to see what's going to happen here. I'm also a little bit worried that the second Blue sees the tower, he's going to resign because that can happen at this ELO. So I'm really hoping that doesn't happen. He actually is getting quite a few upgrades. He's fletching for the archers. He's also getting armor for the two men at arms. So if the tower wasn't there, you could clear this. But towers make people panic. 
Low elo either run away screaming from towers or they send everything to attack the tower. And everything to attack the tower, well, if he had more infantry, would actually be the play. And then with red's build order, he might be thinking, well, like this is the that was the whole strategy. Take as much gold as possible. And then if you end up losing it someday. Supplies! No way! Supplies! It's so not worth it here, but low elo see it and they're like, apples? I like apples. I wonder if the devs knew that would be such a low elo trap when they added that tech. It makes the food cost on your infantry cheaper. Uh, but it's 150 food and 100 gold. I need to make at least 10 men at arms for that to be considered worth it. And Ataviano here only has 7 on food, so... Not ideal. And wait a second. Red scouted this. Did I miss the villager going down? I I missed the villager going down. I'm Hold on. We have to make sure that we cover this game in all of its glory. Let's go back. See what happened. Let's witness this. All right. Anyways. Um, here comes the villager. Villager trying to wall. Red with the good micro. And oh my goodness. He's blocking. Oh my. That was amazing. Yeah. Blue didn't react there. Um... I guess supplies is about to come in now, so it'll just fast forward a little bit again. That's fine. That's fine. Or maybe supplies is already in. Okay, Blue's moving out. Blue's not happy about this. And Blue is going to drop his own tower. And this is after the tower is already there in defense. So this could be considered somewhat offensive. Yeah. And Red sees this, but I don't think Red understands that he's completely out tech here. Yeah, the archers and the man-at-arms are way better than militia and one archer. And now Blue, does Blue just want to complete the walls? <laughs> Wait a second, what's happening here? Is, is he sending villagers to rush down the tower, or does all he want to do is wall up? He's sending... He's that worried. He won't even attack it. He's like, nope, that's scary. But what we can do is we can make sure that he doesn't send more units in. Now, funnily enough, when you send 10 villagers to wall, it's actually less efficient than sending three. Because they bump into each other. Like, no, that's my wall. That's my wall. That's my wall. Okay, well, this is giving Red time to make another tower. Blue is really... Okay, now these villagers are scared, and where are they going? I actually don't know. Well, I think Blue... Okay, more wall. Oh my goodness, more walls. Okay. So it's the offense slash defense strategy. And Red's just gonna make more towers. I mean, Red... Red's reaction here is pretty good. He's panicking, though. He's making archers. He's making scouts. Which I suppose isn't the worst. And he can see that the enemy is just trying to wall here. Okay. Honestly, Blue, I respect it. Now, neither player is creating villagers out of their town centers throughout all this. Because they're so stressed. A new lumber camp. I respect that, too. But Blue just doesn't have the confidence to really push forward. So Blue said, whatever. I'll let you have the middle for now. And I guess it's just going to make sure that he or she does not die. As he just bought 300 stone with all that gold. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Man, low elo. The lowest elo, they love stone and gold. Reminder that red is 250 elo. Blue is 340 elo. But red has is, is seemed to be the stronger player of the two so far. Yeah. Blue has 40-some wins. Or no, sorry. 40-some losses and 14 wins. Fine. Okay, more upgrades now from the blacksmith. The biggest issue for, for Blue is just the fact he's not creating villagers as frequently as Red. And they're just going to stack towers here, I guess. Is anyone ever going to make it to Castle Age? Oh, wow. There goes Red. Okay. Go up to him! Red's on the way to Castle Age. And that's... that's I mean, 32-minute Castle Age isn't... isn't uh, it's not going to make the Guinness Book of World Records or anything, but it's it's respectable considering everything that's gone down here and respectable considering their ELO. Hmm. Presto. All right. So, more stone walls. Less panic now is blue. If red makes knights and drops a castle, I don't see how red ever loses this game, right? Look at that. He even used the towers against the snow leopards. He knows. I see armor coming in on Cav. It's a little surprising to see a low elo player making things other than infantry with goths. 
but it's it's something you you kind of need to do in certain stages. Mm. Apparently, blue is is blue actually Italian? That's funny if he would pick Italians every game as an Italian. And yeah, this is just the classic situation where a player uh, continues to get few age upgrades when you should just go cast age. Oh, blue wants to make a tower here. Oh no, what is that? Okay, sending more villagers to complete this tower. Hmm. It's a little awkward. MBL! Salutes in chat for MBL. We were just saying, go up to Imp. Welcome. Uh, people coming in from MBL stream, if you want to see real quality content, you have you finally arrived to the right channel. It's low elo legend day. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Hope everyone's doing well. What's up, MBL? Thanks for the host, man. So it's just a tower war here. And red is winning, but blue's on the way to Castle Age. I like how red has three on stone, and he thinks it's wise to get the second stone mining upgrade, which is so expensive. Instead of just sending a few more villagers to stone. We don't create more villagers to send them to stone. We just let those three villagers do their work a bit faster now. Now, I haven't seen either player garrison inside towers. Do you think they know that's a thing? Because they had archers. That would be good. I think Red's just going to get all the techs now. Red's getting Crossbowman and Elite Skirmisher. I would say Castle Drop on this hill would be the go-to here on Gold Rush. Has Blue even scouted the enemy this game? No. Blue's just protecting the relic. It would be rather funny if the first thing he does is go out for that relic. I don't know if he just left his scout there coincidentally or if he really wants to protect the relic. There's the castle from Red. That is a gutsy castle. Well, not really, but it's a it's an aggressive castle. I like to see it. And is he going to repair this now? Really? Okay. Well, she's dead. But everything should still be fine. Blue's about to be in Castle Age now. Russell says, why is Red making like Kev when he has over 1k gold? To save the gold, silly? Jeez, man. The more military you make that doesn't cost gold, the more gold you have for later. It's a savings game. That's why he sent 15 villagers to gold in Dark Age. And he didn't take any of his gold at home. He wants to soak up as much gold as possible. Gold is a precious resource, so why spend it? That's the low elo logic. Blue using the market big time just to buy stone. And I guess wants to make his own castle. Now, Red, you're going to have to give this up. You're losing too many villagers. You have a castle. These towers aren't that important. I guess it is, as Red is making... Light cab, and there's a knight for the person complaining about the lack of gold units. Now, there's an upgrade that Red does not have. I don't think he'll need it here because he has towers too. But at low elo, it is seen as one of the stronger techs from the university. And I'm wondering if Murder Holes is ever going to come in. What a... That's a town center! Whoa! That is a Sim City TC right there. This is what we call a farm TC. At higher levels, it's normally important to put a town center on a resource. Okay. It actually... Placing TCs like this does make your town look a whole lot better. I'll say that much. Winning with style. We see a defensive castle from blue now. But if you look at the total resources collected this game... Red is way ahead. Blue actually... I And this is, this is hilarious... Blue actually has more gold collected. I don't know how that's possible when Red has been in the middle for so long. But uh, anyways, it's the food in the wood that's really high for Red. Uh, and that could be so important. I guess Blue's going to run out of gold then. Because he's, he's mined... Uh, you get four tiles and then three Let's tiles at home. Red. And so he just... He's taken out three tiles. Three and a half already. Okay, this game has been here for... We've been in this game for 40 minutes. Blue's TC has not been working for half of that. Red's TC has been a bit more active. But if you want to know how to improve this game, just work on keeping your TCs producing villagers and sending them to resources. We see a university and a monastery at home for Red, who's getting town patrol. 
making more stables, making a siege workshop. So Red likes to make the buildings and get the techs. There's even anarchy now, so he can produce husk guards from his one barracks. Okay. Got a lot of man-at-arms back here for Otavio, who wants that relic. I called it. I freaking called it. <laughs> he found that relic in Dark Age, and he didn't even try and scout the enemy. He's like, nope, relics are important. Let's protect it. <laughs> oh, it's so cute, man. I love it. Thank you, Firestorm, for five months. Thank you, uh, Harvey God, for the 23 months of support. Raging Red, thank you for two, and welcome back. Thank you, Jay Barker, for the brand new sub. Also, I missed this earlier. Fox Ride, thank you for the year. And Babaga, thanks for 26. I'm sorry there's no cat cam today. If we could please get some smileys in chat, too, for Cigar Bossa. Uh, I did, I, I believe I said something. But anyways, uh, gifted subs earlier, which was super kind. Thank you, Crash Bond and Life. Lots of two-month resubs here coming back to the community after Hidden Cup. Appreciate you guys. I know a lot of people probably started to watch. Um, some people subbed during that qualifier and then led up towards the main event. Hmm. All right, guys. Red continues to sacrifice villagers to repair that tower. Red did get Bodkin, though, so his towers, I mean, there's more of them. He should be able to shoot that down. Does blue have a chance here? I feel like getting imp and making trebs could decide this game. It is ch cheaper for Italians to go to the Imperial Age. What's up, Flabby Wall? Says, hey, T90, just got here. What's the surprise? Well, if I told you, it wouldn't be a surprise. We will have a special surprise today, though. Again, really impressed that 250 ELO are, are doing the, the things they're, do they're doing. In particular, red. Now, his, both of his TCs are creating villagers. Blue is getting Pavise. And that gives, your, <laughs> it gives your archer's armor. That's not a cheap upgrade either when you have nine farmers. But yeah, Red seems to know some stuff. Will the surprise be on YouTube later? I gotta go to work. Um, it will actually. Yes. Red is going to bring in his first relic? First relic. Blue brought in one. The scout's still there, though. Now we're seeing Light Cav from Blue as well. Their fascination with Light Cav is a little interesting. I think it's just because it doesn't cost gold. And they know gold is an important resource. Oh boy, here comes Blue. Is Blue going to just use all of this and attack the wall? If he right-clicks the wall piece, the Maganel will attack the same piece that the military units are. And he could kill all of his own units. Because he sees the gate. So I'm thinking that he kills this. And then he might right-click that gate. And if he does, he could actually kill all of his own units. Red, blue, orange, yellow, green. Sorry, that's a weird thing when I go by colors. I don't know. Like, my brain just cannot keep up sometimes. Now we have Pikeman. Is this another... Oh, that's a scout. Scout has seen this relic. So that's going to be two relics for red, you'd think. When he gets around to it. And another farm TC. Okay. It's cute. 37 months of absolute class from T90. Thank you so much for everything you've done for me and this amazing community less than three. Yo, Dolphin, every time you resub, I, I just get shocked at how long it's been. Because I remember the day we met. <laughs> Thank you for 37 months. For those that don't know, uh, Dolphin was uh, reminiscing. Playing some Age of Empires HD. 37 months ago and we raided him um i you know he had a few viewers chilling out with some friends and then a couple thousand t90 elites show up and start spamming him with salutes he absolutely lost his mind uh and then all of chat was saying yo bro play force nothing play force nothing and i'm in chat spamming in all caps don't do it because he was a noob he did not know what that was like don't do it and then he was stuck in a Force Nothing game for six hours because of chat. So, um, yeah, and then he subbed to the stream. has been hanging out ever since. So that's why I say it It really is a shock to me how much time has gone by every time I see his resub. Red, please don't. I mean, if Red doesn't kill his own units, he wins this game, right? Surely. Surely. Blue just hates villagers. That's what it is. Blue hates villagers. 
This refuses to create any more. Why would he need more eco? He can barely control 32 villagers. Why would he want to make more? That's his logic. Salve. This game's too complicated. It just makes it more complicated if the more villagers you make. Hmm. Um. Let's see if my prediction's correct here. He might, he might really hate that tower. Oh, he's right-clicked the tower with everything. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, at least some of the units... At least the archers go down. But don't... He's still gonna friendly fire his own stuff, guys. The Mackinals are still... Ah! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> Quick, get masonry, Blue. Blue, the longer this tower stays up, the more you kill. Get masonry. Come on. <laughs> Look how the knights are bugged into the wall as well. All right, it could have been worse for Red, but my worry for him is if he right-clicks that gate. The gate would be really bad. Oh, no! No, don't do it! Oh, God! He's killing so many of his own units here. Oh, my word, it's not worth it. Okay, now he's just clicked a different piece of the wall. No, he's clicked the same wall. All right, all right. Well... These guys know what they signed up for. Did he just click the different wall piece? Oh, God. I can't believe I'm witnessing this. Just, yeah, okay. Stick with the Maganels and crossbows and skirmishers and cav archer. That's better. <laughs> That's better. There we go. All right, so Blue now actually has a force which can compete with this, which is what's funny. Light cav and, and long swordsmen need to help out here. There you go. So, I mean, the towers and the castle's awkward, but crossbows, man-at-arms, and knights could honestly deal with this. That is a very confusing KD right there. <laughs> that KD, though, almost doesn't make any sense. The knights come out for the Maganels, and Blue seems to have much better unit control. And so he mops this up, and we have a game now. And I wonder if Blue's going to continue to fight, though. I think Blue should back away and just make more walls. Oh, no, Red. See, Red just doesn't know how to control his units. That's the problem. His economy's good. Oh, no. Okay, there we go. Yeah, and Blue's actually going to make another couple layers of walls here. Okay, so now I'm understanding why Red is 250 elo. Because he really doesn't... He, can, he has the economy down, but the fighting is not so good at. Um... But it's, I think with the next couple waves, he should be able to clear what Blue has. Blue needs to run behind the walls again. And it's actually happening, which is hilarious. And also, Blue can go up to the Imperial Age with his resources. No way! We have ourselves a game, people! Salve. Because if he starts making trips from behind walls, Red might not know what to do. Presto. Now, it's really important, actually, that Blue gets the wall pieces down here. Because Red is very close to breaking through that wall piece. That's a 99 HP. Yeah, baby. And there's no Maganels now. So I think that wall piece will go down. Then again, Red will run into castles. So there's not much he can really access back here. I love mangoes. Javier, thank you for the five months. I'm sure Red does too. Look at this AI army comp. Isn't this beautiful? It's a mix of everything. How can you ever lose a fight when you have everything? Uskarl, Pikeman, Longsword, uh, Skirmisher. I think there's a Skirmisher in there. Yep. Cav Archer, Light Cav, and Knight. For the, low elo legend mug. Thanks the only thing that's missing here is a Maganel, a Ram, and a Scorpion. And then maybe a Monk. Beautiful. Is there a crossbow in there? Oops, sorry, I don't know why that happens. Is there a crossbow in there? Oh, there is a crossbow, too. <laughs> Classic low elo legend, as we have a backup base for red. And is going to add... Oh, look at this. Stable, Archer Range, Barracks, Siege Workshop. One of everything. It, it's classic. But red has 74 villagers. Red has double the economy of blue and amazing eco upgrades and access to gold. So our 250 elo player here should never lose this game. But I could see it happening if the panic sets in when the trebs come out. Red actually has a villager queued up behind Imp, which is a surprise to me. Maybe feel maybe after witnessing villagers going down. Did I say red again? I meant to say blue. Um, blue probably feels as though 
now he needs more villagers. Okay. Alright, so a lot has gone down in this game. I noticed that Alexandra is uh, protecting the relics still. We'll have two relics because there's a monk on the way back. See, Treb's now on the way for blue. And we're, believe it or not, about to hit the one hour mark in this game. Thank you, the devil herself, for the year of support. Now, will Blue go for upgrades from the blacksmith in the Imperial Age? Not really seeing it right now. It can't afford much, to be honest. Red will be an imp in about 60 seconds. And don't make more Maganels. Stop making Maganels. Okay, Scorpions are fine. But I'm sorry, Red. I don't have faith <laughs> in your control of Maganels. And if he panics, guys... If he panics when he sees the Trev and really wants to take out the Trev, what do you think he's going to do? He's going to try and bust through the walls. I'm so terrified. Especially if he upgrades to Onager, too. Oh, no. All right, all right, all right. I'm, I'm, so, I'm so ready. Now, Blue might not have heard my advice on keeping villager production going. Blue might not have heard my advice on on farm placement, and I'm definitely the go-to on that. Uh, but Blue does know not to trickle trip. Even though here, I think when you have the walls, he should have just sent the trebs out already. So he's going to wait for three trebs. Again, Red should never lose this game, but it's low elo. And, well, anything can happen. That said, this has been a really good game. Red has done a really solid job. Look, he's still creating some villas here or there. Still adding farms here or there? I like it. Okay, here come the trebuchets. Now, red is an imp and hasn't gone for a single imp upgrade. Presto. Blue really wants to get these walls down. That's actually really important. I wonder where red will go. Okay, this is red's point of view. Let's just, let's just watch this in silence and see what he does. Okay, well, he saw the light cap there. I don't know if he was even controlling his units there, but light cap goes down. I feel like Blue's going to send another villager to finish this because he took out that one annoying tower. <gasps> oh, God, what did he click? What did he click? What did he click? Where is he going? Please tell me he didn't click a wall. Oh, no, he clicked the wall with everything. Oh, goodness. Oh, he's clicked that wall now. Well, it depends on what the Maganels have been told to do. <laughs> At what point does he realize that he... That this is bad, though. <laughs> like, this friendly fire is so extreme. At what point does he realize he needs to do something else? Oh, my. oh, he's through! He made it in! Oh, my goodness! And this is why he'll continue to do it, because it works, people. It might not be pretty, but you just need to get the job done. And so, the goal is to take out the trebuchets, and I think that will be achieved here. Also, there will be another hole on this side. Or will that be achieved, actually? Took out one. Uh-oh. Counterattack is here. Oh, Red, please don't lose this game. Red, if you lose this game, I'm going to lose. I'm going to be so sad for you. I'm having a good week. I don't need to be... Okay, takes out two traps at least. I, I really... It, it would it would be absolutely gut-wrenching if you were to lose this. But it would also explain the 250 elo. As now... He's beginning to get worried, so he clicks Cavalier. And then Hussar, for whatever reason. And then he's also, he clicked Heavy Cav Archer, and now he's making crossbows. So yeah, red, Hi. Go blue. if you were to mix blue and red together, they would be a really solid 500 to 600 ELO player. The problem is red doesn't really know what, he doesn't know how to use units, and he doesn't really know what units do what. So he's just clicking everything. And he's hoping that will work. I guess blue's kind of doing the same thing, but at least blue... I don't know. A doc? 
He's making fishing ships in the south and he's getting gill nets. So the fish is extra efficient on that one shore fish. This guy's crazy. He, he just loves options. But he needs to make stuff in the middle. Here comes blue. It was about to trip down the Hussar stable. Or I guess he'll take the tower first. I don't know. Also, reminder that blue has not seen red's economy this entire game. 44 military versus 10 military. Red is producing light calf from some of the stables. Cavalier, okay, he's just he's just clicking random stuff. Look, scorpion, scorpion, on under upgrade, heavy scorpion. Two-handed swordsman, huskarl. Monk casually walking in with the relic. He's just click. He's just making the biggest mix of units he can. The concern here is if he sends them in one after the other, they're all gonna die. So he needs to mass them first. I can't believe we're witnessing this. Another castle now for blue, and blue is even rewalled. Which I, I guess has been a winning ingredient here. Blue needs to get... Well, it doesn't have the stone, actually, for a castle in the middle. Because he's placing this one, so... I would say a castle in the middle backed up with trebuchets would be huge here. Neither player getting Imperial Age upgrades when they're blacksmith, either. The game's too stressful now. You just forget that the blacksmith exists at this point. Hi, T90. I've been binging your YouTube videos. Becoming a better old player. Nice. Good question, though, that I need for a school assignment. Is cereal a soup? Thanks, my dude. You need an answer for a school assignment. Listen, my suggestion is just is just quit school. You know, school's not gonna take you anywhere. Just, I'm kidding. Um, see, is cereal a soup? That was a joke. I guess technically it is. Yeah, we'll say yes. Cereal is a soup. I really don't want to waste too much brain power on that question. I don't have a lot of brain to use, so. Oh, man. Well, Red has been able to get his mass up. And he's been able to clear what Blue has up. And Blue, this whole game has not had access to that middle gold. So he still doesn't really have a way of taking that. And he is completely out of gold now. So, as Blue's going to re-stonewall over here. And the fishing ships are actually not even working. That's funny. Red's got too many other things to work on. Red has gold. Red has 34 on food. Red should still win this game. Yeah. But he researched Onager. If Red's going to win this game, he needs to delete his siege workshops right now. Do not make them anymore. Do not try and break through walls that way. Because you just will kill your units even faster now. A okay, blue's treb is going to town here. Let's see what red will do. Now, it can friendly fire with any of these units. All right. Which piece of wall has he clicked? Wait, he's actually clicked the castle. How is that possible? The villager could it, could it take out the castle there. Okay, the scorpion goes down to the treb. At least red is telling the hustlers to do something different than the, uh, than the ranged units. Okay, now Red's like, uh, this isn't working. Let's back away. Wait. Oh, there's still a hole over there. But he just clicked his Hussar out. <laughs> the Hussar went around here. And then <laughs> somehow out of the gate. What in the world was that? Hold on. Can we can we watch that? Let's instant replay that with Capture Age Pro. Let's go back real quick. I need to see that again. Okay. Hussar goes in because I think he clicked the castle. At this point, the only way the Hussar should be able to escape is, is back through that hole. Hussar has been clicked to the middle, and it just so happens that the Hussar can leave the gate <laughs> that the Scorpion is leaving. Oh my god, that's funny. HC5 confirmed. That was great. All right. I mean, Red is really queuing up a lot of units. He, does, he hates infantry, apparently. Which is very ungoth like Wow, that trap just got a sick kill. Okay. Man, there's... I really want Blue to win this game. But it would also break my heart. You know, Red should never, ever, ever, ever lose this. Blue with the offensive Scorpion Rush. Not really the best. Looks like Red lost his Monk in the middle earlier. How many Relics does he have? He's still 2-1. to one. And there might be another one on the way back to his Monastery right now. Because I'm only seeing one in the middle. Um... 
the, the thing is, and this is probably the case more so for blue than red, but it, I think it is very much a thing at this stage of the game. Players here don't reboom ever. They get to a certain vill count, and then that's it. So if you lose villagers or you feel like you're running out of resources, you don't think to add more vills. What? He's adding more vills. Okay. Never mind. I was wrong. Siege workshop. Archer range. Stable. Barracks. Archer range. Archer range. Stable. <laughs> I love the way Red places buildings. He just wants a little bit of everything. Such a fine mix. Okay. Blue knows to use the market and had just had to sell wood to get gold for elite skirmisher. I think that tells you the situation. Oh, wow. We have a fish trap over here. Actually, what's funny is this fishing ship is blocking the other fishing ship. So this fish trap, I think there's another one there. Yeah, it cannot be used. Wait, but he didn't even take the shore fish first. Okay, he said, screw your shore fish. I want whatever's down under the water there. Okay, red is um, gonna make another castle and found the blacksmith. Oh boy. No, don't make onagers. Don't make the onagers. Oh goodness gracious. Please don't make any more. We don't, you don't need this. Basically, this whole game, the only reason we're watching is just to see how many units red time. is going to kill. <laughs> and not enemy units. At this point, red, I feel like we'll eventually win. But I just need to know how many times he's going to friendly fire his own stuff. Still a hole in Blue's wall. That's true. That's true. And you know, maybe that'll save him. Because if he clicks anything behind the wall, the units will run around. And then Blue will be in trouble. He refuses to make trebuchets, though. Th that is really an interesting fact about all of this. He has had the castles. Okay, the monks are here. Did they not find the relic? I saw there was another monk over here idle. He's probably, you know, he's distracted. Look how many houses he has. How many? 45 houses. I don't think you need 45 houses. MBL should learn a thing or two from this guy. Is he going to heal his army now? Well, that's that's a way to counter the onagers. Ah, oh, yeah. Just heal up your army. All right. Whoa. Whoa. Look at them. They're like... You're healed, you're healed, you're healed, you're healed. You get, actually get to, with this angle, you really get to see what's in the, those pages. Good guy, Red, making sure everyone Kind of looks like a comic book, to be area. honest. Some Calvin and Hobbes action there. All right, Red, what's, what's, your, what's your plan here, my friend? Crossbows, pikemen. Guys, it was clearly... It was clearly Calvin and Hobbes. I don't know why you're telling, saying anything different. Another dock? What? Are you going to take the shorefish this time at least? Don't tell me he's going to dock every single pond. <laughs> um, okay, so two fishing ships here. Okay, now this is, this is the rare moment where I get to spit out a fun fact. And I'm not sure if they fixed this. But fish traps, when placed up against the edge of the map, bug out. So it's very possible, and again, it's such an obscure thing. I don't know if it would have ever been addressed. But it might not work here. Okay, there's the fishing ship. Here's another dock. Does he know that pond is there as well? Oh, God. All right, he's going to have to find that. Well, I guess he's, he's, he's booming. Oh, God, he's made more. He's making more onagers. No, 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 no. Okay, let's see if the fish trap works. Let's go seven months. It looks Welcome like it's working. T90 official. When are you doing community games again? Let's see, is it working? This is the most important thing on the map right now. No one can tell me different. Also, this is yet another... Oh, no, he can take that one, too. Okay. I think this fishing ship cannot drop off the food of the dock, though. Shout out, but it was my first to two. Okay, it is working. Well, well well, done, devs. We don't have spec chat yet, but at least fish traps against the edge of the map can work. Looks like their priorities are straight. Um, here comes Blue with some cheeky gold miners. All right, so... Hey, sir. Oh, you're kidding me! Of all the tiles to take, those are the perfect ones. 
Someone said blue is attacking. I wouldn't get your panties in a wad just yet. He, he's, he's moved out of his walls. I don't know if that counts as attacking. Um, but he's protecting his gold miners. Um, got a ram. I mean, 46 villagers is way more than I ever thought we'd see from blue in this game. I'd like to see a new lumber camp. Can we get 46 lumber camps, please? All right. Red is now getting... Um, what's that tech? Oh, perfusion. And then conscription. And then elite huskarl. Okay. Red saw the one villager, I think, on gold. 39, no oh boy. That's funny to me how he, he has docked so many times and made two fishing ships and two fish traps in every one. He actually hasn't done it at home. It's the same strategy, like taking the forward gold, except it's taking the forward fish. Water control. He's he's a pure hybrid player. He goes for full water and full lands control. If he were to play cup or bay, he'd be a beast. Hmm. All right. The relic's still in the middle, by the way. Monks are just healing. And more blacksmith upgrades coming in. Yeah, I mean, red... Red should and probably will win this. As we have been saying for a while now. Hmm. Whoa! Red is pop-capped, but look at all the trebs queued up in that castle. Alright. Well, finally Red remembers trebuchets, but will Red have the presence of mind to know to delete villagers here? You almost have too many villagers working. <laughs> also, did you guys see Red get his gold mining upgrade yet? Because something tells me, I know he got his all of his stone ones, but I almost feel like he didn't get his gold mining upgrade. Okay. All right. Blue is going on offense for the first time in this game. And this is what Blue can see. Now, for the first time, while Red probably will kill some of his own units, he's not going to kill primarily his own units, and he will mop up Blue. And Blue just doesn't have the numbers here, right? So I'm curious if Blue has it in him to continue to play, or Blue is just going to, you know, resign now. Because before, Blue was sitting behind his walls, which might work on Arabia, actually, but on Gold Rush, you really need to have the middle. Now you, you start to see these villagers go down... And, all right. Great micro here from Blue. As he's going to micro down the Hussars. He only needs about 100 more villagers and he can kill one. All right. Runs away. Oh, and they go back to gold. All right. Back to work. The enemy's gone. You don't get... You don't get any personal days. You don't get any sick days. You don't get... You don't even get to take some time off after a Hussar killed one of your fellow employees. You are right back to work. <laughs> what a tough life. Oh, man. And Red probably feeling some confidence now. It looks like Ballistics is bugged on our screens, but that's clearly in. And, um... Yeah, I mean, this is the moment we've all been waiting for. Finally, Red has trebuchets. He's got two now. And Blue's treb... <laughs> Blue's treb gets a direct hit already. Don't tell me. Is he going to treb the enemy treb? Is that what's happening here? I can't tell what he's aiming for. Oh, please don't tell me he clicked the wall again. Oh, please don't. Okay, if the treb goes down, he's going to click the wall, right? Okay, he won the treb war. He's clicked the wall. Oh, no. Oh, no! Not again! Not again! Okay, the onagers can't get in close enough, which is a good thing. And wait, has he clicked the onagers elsewhere? Well, not really. Well, sort of. I mean, it's getting better, guys. He's learning. Oh, God. Uh, I guess this is why you make a lot of units. Oh, man. Friendly fire. And no, he's going back! Oh, no, he's just clicked another wall. Oh, no. Well, again, thankfully, there's range units blocking the, blocking the auditor, so he's going to make it through. Look at the overall KD again and try and make sense of that. And the Hussars are in. Now, 
as Red continues to onage some of his own units, there are trebuchets here now, and that will take out the castles, and I think for Blue, this might be his last stand, depending on how Red does or does not micro this. I'm not sure if you can really, as he clicks the tree, I'm not sure if you can really consider this micro. It's just, you know, you just put the units there and hope for the best. All right. Click the farm now with the onager priorities. All right, good, good, good. But it's 75 military versus four. You know what it is? Red just wants to lead in every statistic in this game. He wants to, well, now he's red. Red. Red, you don't, this is not how you take out castles. Red. <laughs> oh, everything's gonna go down. I mean, good. he did everything else right. It's just when he tries to attack walls and castles, he just does not, you know what it is? He doesn't have patience. Some of us have patience and we can sit back. For Red, he just wants to kill everything as fast as possible. All right. Well, this castle's still going to go down for Blue. Blue has Freddy or Jeffrey or whatever his name was in the TC again. I don't know why he always has one villager inside the TC. Um, here he comes now with some pikemen and skirmishers to take out the Trebs. And Red, again, just don't make onagers and you're good here. What a unique player. I almost want to see more from Red, but I'm also a little terrified. I don't know if I could take more than just one of his games on any given day. Uh, oops, I have the wrong one here. I wanted to do this. Thank you. Wonderful. Yeah, I have to speak to the Capture Age team. There's been some weird lags in late game, which didn't happen during Hidden Cup. So, I mean, I guess it's good it didn't happen during Hidden Cup, but still would prefer not happen now. Okay, and we're just pretty much waiting for blue to give it up now guys I once saw um, I forget who it was, but anyways, I saw a low elo player playing age on twitch once and They didn't know how to resign They didn't know that you have to go to the menu and click resign. It's not wasn't clear to them So they just kind of sat there and waited till the enemy killed everything because they didn't know how to leave the game and so I'm kind of thinking that maybe that's a common thing at lower elo. They don't know to go to the menu and look for that. It's not clear. Hmm. Hussars are in. Oh, we can't see spec chat. It would be funny if these guys were talking to each other. But, uh, Red, why are you backing up? <laughs> this, this is a guy who's having fun. All right, let's look at the variety of units. Do we have every single possible unit in this army comp soon? Let's start with the stable units. We have Hussar, we have Cavalier. And infantry, we have Huskarl. Hey, we have, um... Well, actually, we're missing some infantry units. He did have Pikemen earlier, right? Oh, I don't think he got the Halb upgrade. Maybe he had Longsword before, too. Yeah. And you've got Crossbow. Now we have Onager, Heavy Scorpion, um... Siege Tower, Trebuchet, Monk... He's making Bombard Cannons. He's making Cav Archers. There's a Skirmisher Crossbow, which I think I already said. The funny thing is, the one thing he's missing from this, this AI Army composition, and this is probably going to be his final final uh, killer blow attack, is Infantry, and he's Goths. So I don't know how, how pressing that is for him, how important it is for him to make sure he gets that, but... A T90, if you have every single unit, you can't be countered. Don't you know that? Of course. And uh, now I know that. I've learned in this game. And Blue is still trying here. <laughs> Blue is making a few harps. <laughs> oh, man. So, let's talk about their elos for a second. Now, granted, when you're below a certain elo, I don't think rating really tells you too much. But, red is... A full 100 elo below blue. And they have similar amount of games. Do you guys think it's fair to say that the way red plays is maybe suited more for gold rush? He seemed to be more the aggressor and go and taking risks to go to the middle. Maybe he does that on Arabia and he leaves himself exposed? I think the other thing 
is that maybe red's 100 elo lower because in closer games he kills all of his own stuff i mean we've seen him kill how many of his own units like 100 this game the game was a little bit closer and he didn't have all the gold i could see that being an issue people are saying that red is a smurf please <laughs> please we're almost at two hours man look at the variety up here hmm what is red waiting for he's pop capped now okay he is husk girls and trebs cute all right here he comes with everything now it's not easy to control such a crazy army composition and you can only group up 60 units in one uh one selection so one army one dream a little bit of everything let's go now there's still a hole in the wall wait a second oh there's palisades now <laughs> oh that's cute Wait, why is Blue making a new mill? Did he lose a mill? He actually has farms queued up in his mill, too. That's unique. Guard tower. Oh, it's his last stand. Guard tower. Do you know how expensive it is to get guard tower when you only have 24 villagers and so many of them are idle? The condo Tierra was holding the line here. And here comes the enemy. Oh, with two big balls. Two big balls of military and siege. <laughs> yeah, with enough walls, Red might just kill himself. So you just have to... The strategy here is to just make enough stone walls for the next hour. And then Red will be all out of gold in the middle. And then Red can't make any more units. Thank you, Platinum Turk, for the 28 months. Thank you, Scooby, and welcome in with the new sub. Salute to you. Mia, thanks for 39. Didn't you just resub the other day? Which can be weird sometimes. And, oh, Red is clicked behind the walls, clearly. And there is still that hole there. So I don't think we'll see red friendly fire here. Blue forgot about that gap. And okay, red has clicked the market. Now please don't tell me he clicked everything on the market. Look at this traffic jam. This is rush hour right here. This is why I, I like to work from home. So I don't run into any huskarls on my... Oh! Oh, oh God. We have the wall from blue. And the wall has been denied. And Red said, whatever, I'm just going to make a new hole as he's slaughtering all of his units again. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Do you think it's because it's just too many clicks to try and move units around properly? He just says, whatever. I feel like... If my dad doesn't play this game, but I feel like Red would play like my dad would. It's like, ah, this is too many clicks for me. Whatever. I'll just make more units. Why would I micro when I could just click and make more, you know? It's a boomer mindset. These darn kids nowadays, it's too complicated. I can still get the job done my way. Back in my day, we used to kill 50 Hussars, not 25. It's gotten a lot better. You guys don't know what it's like. Not that my dad sounds like that at all. Um, well, I, don't ask me what the Siege Towers are doing, but I tell you that the Trebuchets have really made their mark. And now that one villager's inside the tower. Wait a second. I'm sorry to keep going back, but since I can do this with Capture H Pro, I need to find out. Is that the same villager that was in the TC? Oh no, it was just another one. Okay. Anyways, we'll go forward again. It's fine. Hmm. It makes me feel like he always wants a king. He doesn't know... He does. It, there's no regicide here. A lot of people really like the regicide game mode. Definitely makes me feel like that is his king. Now let's pretend it's the king. Let's see if the king goes down. Okay. Wait a second. It was a queen. That was confusing. I think that might be a capture age bug. Um. But yeah, blue is still desperately. Creating what he can, and what he can make is three pikemen. And then there's villagers over here. Now, I think it's really common at low elo as well, even if they know how to resign, to save every villager and drag the game out. And I suppose Red is just going to continue to kill his own stuff as these buildings go down, right? But at least now he has bomber cannons and traps, because that will take the buildings out, and the onagers won't kill so many of his own units. And... <laughs> Oh, God. Blue is a 
escaping. Blue is making a run for it, boys. Let's go. Now, I don't want to encourage this behavior, you know, uh, at all levels, but I think it's fair to say when you're a noob of all noobs, as he's going to go for a counterattack. He found the enemy's eco after one hour and 46 minutes, and he is going for it. Is he going to make skirms here? But anyways, what type of one in chat, if there was a point in your Age of Empires career, if you could call it that, where you would always hide your the last units, and this was part of the fun for you. Um, I... Okay, gotta make sure you have houses. Salve. I definitely had times where I would do that. Not so much online, because when I played online, I had a bit more experience there. Oh, wow! You're kidding me. Red had a Hussar down here earlier. He used the Hussar to protect his dock. And he actually spotted the uh, villagers that went down here. And the market. Okay, we have the skirmisher attack. He can take gold! He's still in this! He can finally take gold! And it's not in the middle. Forget about that. He's actually taking the gold at Red's base. Because Red refused to take any of the gold at home. This is Red's safe gold. This is like his stash of sweets that he only breaks out every once in a while. And... That would, I mean, that would tick me off if I was red. Get off of my lawn, kid. These villagers are still chopping trees. Wait a second. Is red taking out all the walls? No wonder he's not doing anything else. He wants to, <laughs> this is scorched earth right here. He wants to take out every speck of blue on the map. Hmm. All right. Well, he doesn't have enough food to make any infantry or make any other units, so that would make sense. Let's see how long it takes Red to react to this attack. Now I'm here forever. Send help. Sub for Hidden Cup 3, and now I'm here forever. Send help. Mr. Jerio, I'm glad you're addicted just like I am. Thank you for the year. Well, one down and 87 more to go. Red? Red is trying to take out the walls. Oh, town bell. Okay, red noticed. In reaction time of a god, he notices. And now will blue notice? Now blue has a lot more to focus on with 15 pop. He could be distracted by the gold villagers, the lumber villagers, his walls getting destroyed. A lot more complicated to react here. And it does seem like he's distracted with his booming economy and um, has lost his skirms now. And he's now down to 11 pop. Meanwhile, Red is still thinking, let's take out all the walls. Um, <laughs> and I really don't want to sit here watching him destroy walls for the next hour. <laughs> Red, just send some Hussars. Send something over here. I guess he just doesn't know. <laughs> he doesn't see this. Yeah, I can fast forward, but that ruins, the, that ruins my immersion. Don't worry, I have a good threshold for it. If he genuinely sits here destroying walls for the next couple minutes, then I'll move on. But I think he's going to move out. Here you go. Hey! Hey! Chat! Just because I fast forward and rewind every now and then for specific situations doesn't mean that as I'm here trying to put in my best effort to cast and entertain, that you guys are suddenly get spoiled with that feature and get to just go, Oh, just fast forward, man! Just fast forward. Oh, just do this. Go backwards. Go. Chat, I love you to death, but if you want to have full control on the speed and where we look at games, then load up the game yourself. It's available. All right. And Capture H Pro is available too. I want to experience Red's experience here and see what he's able to achieve. And he's found it. And Blue is, Blue is not happy about this, but Blue is going to lose these villagers. And still no reaction over here, as we do have some Arbalest now. Like, you have to trust me as well. I'm not going to sit here. If Red wasn't going out to attack the villagers, then obviously I would, uh, I would speed up for you. Not trying to be a jerk about it, but... Jeez Louise, man. So you guys are the ones who, uh, show up my YouTube analytics as the people who skip ahead to the end of games. <laughs> There's some pretty clear examples, man. When I look at the analytics, like... People will get to about 10 minutes in and then skip to the last five. Like, okay, who's going to win this? Oh, yeah. I knew they were going to win that. 
I definitely knew they are going to win that. Yep. <laughs> well, don't worry. The market's going to go down here. Um, the walls are as well. This is some real multitasking. And then the only thing that will be keeping blue alive is this. And I think that's something that red is just... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Red noticed it. I think he had sent a hand cannon here and it died. Yep, he was looking all over. Now, you could actually research spies with this much gold, and it would show you everything the enemy has. I like how Blue made a mill so that Villager could collect sh the shorefish. Which is rather funny, because the player who has made zero docks has now collected more shorefish than the enemy who made four docks. He just skipped the shorefish in every single dock. The fun little stat. All right. So, Onagers have killed a lot in this game. Both red and blue units. And the Villager. Don't tell me he's going to make a freaking run for it. <laughs> I wish we could do Mission Impossible music or... Is he going to hide it in the trees? Salve. The best hiding spot would definitely be in the trees. Alright, here come the Arbalest and Skirmishers here to defend. And that's not going to work out too well. In fact, I don't know. Are they going to attack? Nope. Okay. Buildings will go down over here. Like, houses don't keep you in games. It, any building that can create stuff. So market would actually work, but the market's now gone. He doesn't even have the resources to make anything out of the barracks, so that will be gone too. And now this is what this is Blue's experience over the last couple minutes here. This is all we'll do. This is what we like to call on my stream high quality content. You can only find this content on this stream, all right? It's what sets me apart from the rest of the content creators out there. I've worked many years to get to this point. Very happy to be able to deliver. It says he's a lumberjack, so I don't know if he clicked a tree somewhere. There he goes. <laughs> Through the enemy town. Oh, he's got a wheelbarrow there. That's a pretty nice wheelbarrow. Okay, all right. He's looking to move at this point. He wants to relocate. He doesn't like the weather in the south. It's too hot and sticky. He wants to move up north. All right, keeps going around. Tell me Red's chasing this. Are we just gonna... Oh my goodness, there's a monk over there. <gasps> oh! Now you can't actually do anything with this villager. He's walked over enemy lumber camp foundation. My guess is he's gonna run towards the left corner so he can stay alive. Salve. Red is now going to take... Red... Well, Red might not know, actually. He might think that you have to destroy all the houses. <laughs> he also might not know spies the thing. Has he got spies yet? Yeah. Oh, no. He didn't research spies. Lumber camp! How did he afford that? Fine. Didn't he have 75 wood? Wait a second. Rewind. Let's go backwards, because all the people... That's what everyone, what everyone wants from me. How did he get 100 wood? Oh, he had 100 wood. All right, fine. It's fine. All right, we'll go forward again. Well, now I'm actually okay with fast-forwarding a little bit, because if Red's never gonna... I, I could foresee Red going for all the freaking houses at this point, and all the walls. He might not know the villagers there. Yeah, guys, it, it looked like, for a time... It was 75. Oh, someone said he deleted a house he was making. That makes sense. He might have had a house foundation down. That would make sense. Here, do you want me to rewind? Let's rewind and, and find that house. All right, let's go back. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Guys, I can't fast forward anymore because we're actually at live time in game. I can't go any faster. This game has been live and we were behind, but we're actually caught up. To the actual time they're at right now. And Blue is, is back in this game. I just wish there was chat. Now this is, again, I don't want to encourage you out there. Unless you're playing against your brother or something. If your brother, who cares? But um, I don't want to encourage people to actually do what Blue is doing here. Because this is griefing at this point. And if everyone did this, it would be kind of a problem. At the same time, though, Red could just research spies and he'd be able to see it. He probably doesn't know spies as a tech, though. Um, but yeah, at this point, the only blue he can see 
are the walls. So he might think, as actually, I think that that foundation was gone there. I think maybe Blue deleted that. Is there stone available? Okay, Blue, why are you making houses? That's what I want to know. You have one villager. Why do you need two houses? <laughs> you have, like, a summer home and a winter home? I mean... <laughs> I don't understand how you're ever going to need that population space. Presto. He can build a market. That's true. Save for a market, and then he won't have any resources to sell or buy. I must be so confused right now. Like, I killed everything. This is where he should start to look for the corners. And logically, he should go to the left corner, right? Ooh, you know, his lumberjacks might do it for him here in a second. Okay, here he goes. This force. He's got a horse down here in the south. Okay. I can't go any faster. <laughs> but let's talk about the YouTube title for a second, because I think this one needs to go to YouTube. What do you think about friendly fire? Just friendly fire armies or something along those lines. Because while this game wasn't the most competitive, Red killed so many of his own units. It was absolutely it's just a slaughter, man. Are there really 5,300 people watching this? There are. Because it's quality content, man. It's it's rare, unique, and, and quality. Okay, again, Red, where are you looking here? Okay, so maybe he thinks he hasn't scouted this yet. Okay, he looked here. This is the scouting party. I don't know why you'd want to have a, a slow hand cannon behind your horse, but that works. So he's cleared out the east. He knows the east is his. He knows the north is his. So it's got to be the south or the west. As we see in Palestine. <laughs> How much time does Blue have? It's a Tuesday. Don't you have to take out the trash or, like, go do some work or something? <laughs> like, dude, he is so ready to continue this game. Oh, my word. The content I resubs for. And Red, it's got to be so confused. He still can't see him over here. To make it more confusing, he actually scouted that earlier. Oh, he got spies. Okay, he just got spies. Woo, there we go. All right, so he got spies. And let's see, does he send in his whole killing squad to take out the villager? Or is Can he just going to send one? Rewind the moment this village created and Good. follow him for all of his awesome journey. Oh, Venevero, thank you for the $5 donation. You want me to rewind and follow and find the moment this village was created? Sure, yeah. I mean, you know, you're supporting the stream. It'd be rude of me not to do that. Okay, looks like the game will end here. Except that hand cannon is horribly... No, he clicked the house! Oh, that's why Blue built the houses! Because Red always kills his own stuff! And Red has to click houses and buildings! That's why! Ah, it's all making sense. That's his win condition. The more buildings you're able to make, the more likely it is that Red would accidentally kill his own units. He's a genius. All right, just happily chopping the trees here. I think, though, in Blue's eyes, in this situation, he wants to kill all the buildings before he kills the villager. I think that's the most satisfying ending here. But I think his units might automatically attack the villager, so it might ruin it. Yep, villager's going to go down here. And this will be the end. 240 elo player who just loves to kill even if it's his own units wins the game what a ridiculous game that was now i mean i guess you can see it reflected pretty clearly here on the timeline and also the resources collected red just made more economy i wasn't expecting to start off the day with a with a um game that that was that was that low and for those on YouTube, we do Low Elo Legends on Tuesdays here on Twitch. Um, but that was a treat, man. If I ever have the time, I think I'll go into uh, Alexander's profile and just see how he has played other games. Because I think Gold Rush might suit him. In fact, do you guys want to look at his profile real quick? We can do that, maybe. 
before it gets cut off and it's the end of the YouTube video. You can see the amount of buildings he made, the amount of units he made, uh, army high. He had 382 total military units in that game. He just was, he was better off in every single stat here. Blue was far too passive. Let's look. Okay, so we've got Alexander. Okay, so here you go. Look at the profile. All right, from Brazil. Whoa. All right, two hours ago played that game. But also played 4v4 AI hard. That's epic. On Amazon Tunnel, nice. Okay, here Alexander lost on Arena to a 400 ELO player. I suppose that makes sense. I guess when you're 200 some ELO, you don't face up against a lot of people that are at your ELO. Rick James here with nine wins, 28 losses, and 500 ELO got a win there on four legs. 2v2 noobs, 2v noobs, 3v3 Black Forest. Okay. 2v2 Australia. It says he's Brazilian. He's a liar. Okay. So it looks as though Alexander picks some civs and sticks with them, though, because we've got Saracen, Saracens. But it's not necessarily an all-in Goths player. Just went for Goths in that one. Yeah, cool stuff. Well, guys, that was a treat.